Saturday, the 27th day of August 2022, was a glorious day in the history of Anambra State as the state marked its 31st anniversary of its creation and her citizens from all across the globe converged in the Vatican City at St. Peter's Basilica, Rome, to witness the making of a Catholic Bishop of a glory, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Obareke, as a cardinal among other 20 cardinals so created by the Holy Father, Pope Francis. Bishop Obareke, now Cardinal Obareke, is one of the five cardinals in Nigeria. Prominent among those in attendance include the Nigerian ambassador to Rome, Mafua Omini Abba, His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, and the former governor of Anambra State. The current governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukuma Charles Solubo, Senator Victor Ume, Senator Ifa Nyoba, representing Anambra South Senatorial District. APGA Chairman, Chief Victor Uyen. Valentine Bosibo, former PDP 2021 Urban candidate. Valentine Ugenyem, media aide to Peter Obi. Cardinal Arinze, now retired. Mazi Ezoki, CEO in the Indian Media Group. Igwe Rafael, Abareke, Igwe Akalabo, the third. Chief Andy Aziki, and many others. Indian Media was there to bring us the event. Uh, yesterday you were in Germany, in Germany for over three and a half hours, and early today you also uh, came here. You know, you have a, it seems you have a very busy schedule. You know, um, what's your feeling of uh, what has happened here today? 
Well, you know, we're here for a tune of joy. Today, as you know, one of the Nigerian bishops was enthroned as a cardinal in the Catholic Church. And what can I say? We continue to thank God. We remain prayerful for all God is doing for Nigeria. And that is what I'm here to be part of and witness. And I've seen a lot of Nigerians that are here from different parts of the world for this celebration as other countries, Brazil, Ghana, and all of them are. You could see the joy of a very successful event. We remain prayerful to God. And we continue to say, this is what we wish of our country, that it continues to be a thing of joy, especially how we continue to deal with those who are suffering, those who don't know where the next meal will come from, those who have become hopeless. So we understand that uh, uh, when you live here, you are headed to uh, Toronto, Canada, and from there you are headed to the United States of America. You know, as you tour around the globe, What's your critical message you have for the Nigerians living in the diaspora and those at home? It's to understand that no other person, we have no other country except Nigeria. And we can build it, we can turn it around. With that commitment that Nigeria must be better. Nigeria must be a society that cares for the poor, that cares for those who are downtrodden, that cares for those who don't have any other thing but believe in the country Nigeria. We want Nigerians to have faith in Nigeria because the country has given them a hope to live and be proud to call Nigeria their country. We are here at the, the, the Basilica and uh, we, the, the Cardinal also is named Peter and many of us who are obedient also know that the incoming president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria come 2023 by the grace of God will be named Peter. How do you feel about that, the triple pit? Well, let's remain prayerful to Almighty God. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Well, to the glory of God, the, the Holy Catholic Church remembered us today. Uh, we from Nigeria and we from Anambra State. Of the 20 candidates elevated to the rank of Cardinal, we got one of our sons. Um, His Eminence, Peter Ebere Cardinal Baleke, the Bishop of Oklahoma Diocese. You can see our joys know no bounds. Um, people travel from all corners of the earth to come here once um, we are from Anambra State and Nigeria. So our flag today, you know, to the glory of God, Nigeria's flag, we flew it here. And um, it's noteworthy that from Africa, only two cardinals, you know, and we got one. So we thank God and uh, we rejoice with his eminence. He's a friend of everybody and we know that this his calling to higher responsibility in the church will be for the good of all. He's somebody who does not discriminate, somebody who loves everybody equally, you know, speaks the truth and stands for justice. So the Pope has not made any wrong choice. So we say congratulations uh, to all of us, uh, his friends and brothers and sisters, and particularly for the leaders of the church in Anambra State. Uh, his Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Valerian Madiko KK, the Metropolitan of Onishek, Ecclesiastical Province, and uh, our own Bishop of Oka Diocese, uh, the senior brother to Ekloa Diocese. Most Reverend Dr. Paul Musa Zokafu. All of us are here. Bishop Jonas Benson, 
Bishop uh, Dennis Souza, you know, all our bishops are here and uh, we are celebrating fully together. And we also saw uh, the governor of Anambra State and also the, uh, the, uh, the presidential candidate of uh, the Labour Party. Labour Party. Yes, all of us are strong uh, members of the church, you know, the Catholic Church. Uh, it's therefore not surprising that um, everybody found his way to Rome to be part of this historic uh, moment. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm Ginger. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, we are here today uh, for the creation of a cardinal, our brother, Peter of Aleke, who uh, fortunately is from uh, Anambra State, uh, Amesi, in Aguata, to be precise. Um, we thank God for the opportunity out of the selection to go our brother Peter to be created today as a cardinal. So it's a good thing to the state, good thing to Anambra State. Coincidentally, it's happened at the, at the first uh, year's anniversary of, this, of the state, creation of the state. So there's a lot to thank God this time around. You know, we have a good government that is working hard to get Anambra State to uh, be a, a, a livable society. Thank you very much. So, uh, we, we learned that His Excellency is also here with you. Yes, uh, my principal, Professor Charles uh, Saludo, uh, Mr. Governor of Anambra State, is here to bless this occasion. He was so amazed, happy about this great event. You know, he has spoke to the media about it, and we are, we are, we are happy for, for the good things that are happening in Anambra State. Thank you very much. So again, uh, it's, it's been wonderful seeing you once more. Thank, thank you, Ginger. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Many people flew from far and wide. We have uh, the Anambra State Governor here. We have uh, the Labour Party presidential candidate and the former governor of Anambra State in the person of uh, Mr. Peter Obi. And we saw uh, Cardinal, the older one, the Cardinal Arinze, and so many others. You know, how do you feel having so much love? How do you feel? You know, how, you know, how do you feel today? I feel very much delighted. Very happy to have seen my brothers and sisters from different parts of the world, especially those that came from the home front, to show solidarity, to join me in thanking God and accepting the responsibility given to me as a cardinal in the Catholic Church. So I feel so much delighted. So now that you become a cardinal, would that, you know, for many would, that do not understand the, the Catholic doctrine, would that mean you will be more at home or you will be more in Rome? Well, the assignment of cardinals in the Catholic Church is principally to assist the Holy Father the Pope in the governance of the Universal Church. It is the Pope that decides where one lives in order to execute this responsibility. In the Catholic Church, some cardinals live in their dioceses, some work in the Curia, now what we call the dicasteries of the Holy See, depending on the decision of the Holy Father. If he decides that I live in my diocese of Ecuador, and then from there, shortly up to Rome, to undertake further responsibilities for the Universal Church. 
I'm open to that. So the whole decision belongs to the Holy Father to take. Okay, thank you. So I did of, I did hear uh, there will be a, another celebration that's going to be happening somewhat next week. Uh, would you throw more light on that? Why, you know, I thought the whole celebration, you know, the whole event happened today. There appears to be another one planned again. What we had today, earlier today, was what we call creation of cardinals. That is the official inauguration of those of us newly nominated into the College of Cardinals. Then from Monday, we enter into consistory proper meeting with the Holy Father and the other cardinals. We have already got the horario, the timetable, the agenda. We have a lot of matters to discuss with the Holy Father. Then at the end, on the 30th evening, there will be Holy Mass, Mass of Thanksgiving, to mark the conclusion of the meeting of the Holy Father with the Cardinals. Then down there in Nigeria, in the Diocese of Ekulo, on the 8th of September, we have scheduled to have Thanksgiving Mass, sort of celebration with those at home. Many wanted to be here, but for one reason or the other could not be here. So the local celebration in Nigeria will be on the 8th of September. There we expect all the bishops, as many uh, as possible, the faithful in Nigeria to be part of that celebration. So the celebration continues, but not just celebration. Coming together is also a sign of solidarity with me and the church. You can see in our midst, some are not Catholics. I'm sure even some non-Christians attended the ceremony. It's a sign of love, manifestation of unity, common purpose for the good of humanity and our service of God. No, um, that's very good to know that uh, this event is still being planned uh, for those um, at home. Now, if we, to close this, over the years, there was a time, you know, in uh, this uh, journey that, you know, um, there was some kind of upheaval and uproar when you were uh, then appointed. I think the act, um, Bishop of MBC, that was it? I heard a diocese. You know, looking back now, what will be your message? especially using that as a point of contact to uh, conflict management and, you know, having a vision to go ahead. Well, it is true that we are, we are all children of God, but remember, we are sons of Adam and Eve. Conflict, sin, has been with us. Misunderstandings, even among brothers and sisters, still exist. So whatever happened in the past, I consider as part of the human frailty, human weakness, misunderstanding that can come from time to time. Considering the diocese you mentioned, that's my beloved diocese of Ahira. The diocese is very dear to me because that's where I started. And even all these celebrations we are having today, they are part of it. Maybe God gave me the diocese of Ahira in preparation for further assignments. So when I look back, I thank God. I thank the people of Ahira. And I look the other side, I thank my people, the people of families, the people of Anambra State, in fact, the Universal Church, for standing suddenly behind me in prayers and support, solidarity in different dimensions. So it's just Thanksgiving back, Thanksgiving front. It is indeed, um, now you mentioned that, Miss, it is indeed um, very uh, well to note, I must say, that uh, the intimidation on a lighter note, of yeah. uh, the legalia won by many indigenous of our nation, as uh, many of them are here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that uh, no, what's your take? Well, the regalia was available to all who was ready to pick one piece or the other in order to be here. It was produced, even to be frank. Till today, I don't know the person who produced this particular regalia. God moved the person who decided to prepare it. I just gave my fiat when I got the phone call that this was being prepared. And the person decided to prepare it, whatever resources that come from there, to support the diocese of Ekulovia. So, but my dear beloved people of families capitalized on that and made sure that as many as we are available reached them at families. 
But if you look around, you can see some other people who are not from Amway still wearing it. So, thank you very much, His Eminence. Thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. God bless you. Thank you very much for having me. Well done. Us. Thank you. Keep doing well. God bless you. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.